Well, our Tuesday continues. We have a fairly low cloud deck. We got cloud cover, but we're going to get mild temperatures. Uh, let's take a look at the four things you need to know. And there you go, mild temperatures today. Yeah, we're going to be in the mid to upper 30s. Next system coming in tomorrow, Wednesday. It's going to be rain in the valleys, uh, snow into the mountains. But we will see the potential for a rain snow mix in some areas. And it is going to be colder next week. It doesn't look to be like it's going to be snowier. Over the next 12 hours, yeah, cloud cover temperatures in the mid-30s. We're not going to see a big push there. We're not going to see a lot of wind either. So the current radar satellite, yeah, just a little bit into areas around the Puget Sound. The rest of the state relatively dry. You see snow in Montana if you're traveling there. The forecast radar. So this gives us an idea of when we're going to see this next system. Potential, some light snow in the morning, but it looks to be north of I-90 into the Colville area and light showers in North Idaho. And then we see rain or rain snow mix coming across in the evening. By Thursday morning should be a done deal and we dry out for what should be uh, at least a couple of days. Today's high is going to be into the mid to upper 30s uh, into our area. Look for temperatures nearing 40 into the Palouse, also into uh, Ritzville. Uh, low 40s to mid 40s from the Tri-Cities all the way to the LC Valley, so fairly mild there. So that planning forecast is all about that chance tomorrow, dry Thursday, Friday with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, overnight lows into the mid 20s, about a 30% chance of seeing some light snow on Saturday afternoon, temperatures in the mid 30s though, and it looks to be pretty seasonal, looking good. The First Alert Weather app is free and available. Download that. It will tell you the hourly temperatures, what you can expect over the next couple of days, and it's got a radar function as well. Have a great day and thanks for watching.